26. We're having the Fancy Cloud Dancers versus the East Chaladonian Trading Company. Oh, and Parrot and Rubble. Quite a close quarters map with a bunch of buildings all over the place and rubbish from the Don't rest them long range on this map. Um, there's a circle on the outside which is called the Outer rim, Rims uh, Circle, if I remember correctly by most people. Um, which uh, fields uh, almost two kilometers uh, in uh, spreading range, so long range is possible on this map. Although, like you said, all the buildings do obscure quite a lot, making it hard to uh, aim for ships that duck into cover. But let's start calling out the ships. First ship on East Travel Zone Trading Company is the Ephemeral Moth, with Gan Gatling Banshee in front, and a Banshee in the flares gun on the side, piloted by Merwin. His ally is uh, the Narwhal, a Hawacha fish, piloted by Captain Scoreboard, uh, Scrobeard, with a Hawacha front, uh, Gatling on right, and Karenid on this left. For the Fancy Cloud Dancers, we have the Fancy, piloted by Dementio. It's a Mobile with a Hades on top, then a Artemis and a Gatling gun on the sides, and on the lower sides, we have Artemis and a Flamethrower. Joining them in battles is uh, the Predator, piloted by Sputnik. It's a Hawacha fish with a carinate and a Gatling gun on its sides. Meanwhile, the armor of him is broken as he hydrates up trying to save himself. Meanwhile, the Inferial Moth and the Fancy are fighting it out. Ooh, a good, good ram there. Yeah, good ram by the Fancy taking down their hole, uh, allowing the fish to turn their back toward the Mobula. This is going to be uh, not that, that nice for that fish. At this point, I guess the Feral Moth should go after the Fancy, trying to turn its weapons on him. But you he's not the interested potato. in the Mobula. Yeah, I would honestly go after the Mobula at this point. Absolutely. Um, but uh, Ooh, it seems that. Good uh, Hawacha going out there, East disabling Chal all of its guns. It seems that East Chaladon Trading Company is trying to split it up. Fish going for the Mobula, and Pira going for the fish. That seems to be the build at the moment. I think good play from the Noble here, dropping behind cover, uh, giving them a moment to rest here. Although they come out of cover and the Fancy opens immediately with the Gatling gun again. Uh, now we have to see, of course, if that gunner does what I think he does. Yeah, that gunner hops down to the Gatling gun and then hops back to the uh, Hades when the range gets further. Meanwhile, the Narwhal has suffered a hull break. Ooh, that doesn't look too good for them. Yeah, and they pick up the kill. Well, the Fender Moth does still have a bit of a chance to get out of there, but the door is closing slightly. They pick up yeah, I get the feeling they're just going to try to pick as much Perma as they can. Um, they're really going to run away from a mob ladder that has two Artemis rockets. Do a good attempt, though. Well, they might get away if they drop behind the buildings real quick, which is an issue, of course, when your engines are being destroyed. Of course, if they manage to drop on the ground, they can hide behind um, well, the, the monorail or train, whatever you want to call it. Um, although they head straight into a building. Oh, they might pop in there, and they are down. They lost 75% of the hole due to this little thing in the middle here. Oh, it's now it bumps as well. He's stuck. Meanwhile, the flame charger goes out. Oh, this yeah, is not good. Perfect location here to actually annihilate the war. Now we'll hear as Hawacha goes out disabling the front cannon. Oh, this doesn't look too good for him indeed. Ram going out, almost destroying the balloon, but the flames might actually do it. Yes, the balloon goes down. They do manage to drop in behind the building, but it doesn't really matter. The fancy has come out of their hiding and is striking at the Narwhal, who is trying to get away here, try to repair. Meanwhile, the Predator is bearing down on him. A Watcher going out again. A quick ram. The balloon is down again. A hull is down. They do manage to get the hull back up. It goes down instantly when they touch the ground again. It doesn't seem like the Ephemeral Moth is going to be joining the fight. I believe they're going to leave the Narval to die. Unless they can get a, an advantage on one of the enemies. I will only spawn in behind the fence and try to smash him into a building at this case, but... Not what you can only hold your spawn uh, for uh, for 
like a small time. Um, so at one point they'll have to spawn in, which they did quite far away. Um, not sure what they're going to do. Looks like they're going to move in, trying to maybe pick up a kill. Although the novel is going down here, which brings the score zero to three in favor for Blue. That being said, they did have a bit of a, a, a conveyor belt going on. Plus, of course, both red ships did have a small uh, collision with the building uh, down yeah. in the, uh, this area down here. But this is what I meant before when I was speaking about these Shadonians. Like, um, they're good, they're skillful, but um, there are small communications issues. And these kind of things, like uh, what you said, the uh, working belt, uh, they just Conveyor. keep rolling in. Um, conveyor belts. But, um, although, yeah, they keep rolling in now, getting on a 1v2 situation, which is quite... Um, Not Quite hard. Spotted though. Maybe that was part of the plan. I don't know. Oh, to be honest, one, one ever in competitive are things going uh, the way you planned it. <laughs> always, always. Right? No. <laughs> Good Hawachi going on the side, disabling most of the engines there. Everything. Well, one gun survived. As the novel tries to approach in the fence here, does lose its watcher, which is its main weapon, of course, which makes him vulnerable again. Meanwhile, again, the Inferno Moth lost all of his equipment, allowing the Predator to double back down on the novel. It's from this point already in deep issue as the fancy is bearing down on him. This is bad for a fish, there's not much they can do, but the artifice is going to keep them low. Yeah, they should have doubled down on the fish on that case, uh, trying to put the Mobula out of the play by hiding behind the building. Um, which is going to be impossible at this point, especially with the novel dying. Bring oh. the score in favor of Blue, the 0 to 4. Now, the first time in this match, the Ephemeral Moth is going directly after the Mobula. He is going in 2 versus 1, he does get his Ancients disabled and is now nah, in this a is GG. terrible, terrible position to uh, do any sort of damage or to, to pay. His best option is, is to uh, decrease his altitude and hope that the Mobula gets stuck on a building, but even then there's this corridor where the Mobula... Nah, I, I, I don't see Dementio falling for a trick like that. Like I said, it's GG. And there we have it. His Chalodon Trading Company is sadly out of this tournament uh, against... What was it? The Fancy Cloud Dancers. Yes, the Fancy Cloud Dancers. Which will uh, go further in the road of redemption. Uh, they'll be facing the w uh, loser of the match, Clan Clan, versus the Electric Blue Lobsters, uh, which uh, are currently on a 4 to 3 in favor of the Electric Blue Lobsters. 